Good readings and welcome, Corporation and please to another episode of Let's Play Metal Fatigue. Alright. Looks like we've pretty much managed to pin down the enemy over here. They did manage to saturate this base. That's fine though, that's barely usable for them. And they've even had to build, no, well actually they didn't have to build, but they did build a cryo farm up there, so that's just a waste. Uh, overall, it doesn't really do me any favors just blowing up stuff, but it does feel good. Alright, so let's get some more tanks. Build completed. Now, I can't just wait for the enemy to Build play complete. nice. Vehicle complete. Alright, so now Diego and Isadora have their combats ready. Let's have a little bit of a scout about. Also start producing some artillery. Now artillery is quite a bit more expensive. But it is so worth it to have some. Now the shield sword configuration I have here of course is not necessary this if you are confident in your abilities, you can just easily wield two of the same weapon or two different weapons, whatever you like. Battle on surface. Looks like there's an electro grip over there. All right. Let's go get it. Now, for the most part, I just want to kill the enemy here. Now, technically, the Armored Fist does more damage than the Sword. But the Sword does have an advantage over the Armored Fist in that it can more easily cut off limbs from enemy combats, which is kind of what we want for this mission. Alright, so now I'm just gonna try and deny the enemy some points. Vehicle complete. Well, it looks like this is still going strong. Uh, let's actually build a couple more energy banks. Just to make sure that we can deal with the surplus. Let's also set up No, actually, no, let's not do that. Kind of wish I could get the, uh, the energy going. And let's get some situated over there. Build completed. Right, so now we just need to defeat the enemy. There is still no many more parts to be found, but that also requires me getting into an area where I currently do not have access. Alright, let's set up a vehicle production facility over on this side. And we need more cryo farms. Because of course we do. Now this lava source is almost out. Manpower exhausted. Build completed. All right, let's see if I can scout about this area a bit. On surface. Alright. Build completed. 
build completed. Build Battle completed. on surface. Alright, so we have some enemies coming over here and they've already been stealing some lava from this pool. And they're coming back again. Definitely combat stomping about over there. All right, that's just that's just wrong. Battle on surface. We have been breached. There's an imposter. Vehicle complete. Build completed. Alright, that should be more than enough to keep the enemy from doing too many annoying things. That is a lot of those things though. Alright, this pool is exhausted. How about focusing on the immediate threat, will you? on surface. to be able to see what the enemy is doing at all times. Battle underground. Vehicle. All right, we've got a power fist over here. Build vehicle complete. complete. All right, looks like a lot of the enemy production has been moved on the ground. Underground. Build complete. Vehicle complete. Battle on surface. Vehicle complete. All 
Alright, let's just bring them over here. I think that area is secure enough. Digger over there, I think. Yeah, Naropa's really getting into everything over here. Vehicle complete battle underground. Build completed. The biggest problem in dealing with those artillery towers is that they have so much damn splash damage. I need so many more units. It's not even funny. Right, it looks like we have secured this area. Battle underground. Which is nowhere near where we should be. Alright, let's see if I can sneak in and steal that arm. Well, there should be a base over here. The enemy tends to build one. Vehicle complete. Battle underground. Hmm. There's so many bases. Actually, before we go, let's get a recon pole up here. I think Naropa is probably out of power at this point in time. Exhausted. Battle underground. Vehicle complete. Exhausting my manpower as well, damn. Just get everyone building something. Vehicle. Battle underground. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Right, I kind of want to send in my uh, tanks as soon as I know that the coast is clear. Vehicle complete. Build 
Build Build completed. All right, that should shoot the works. Build completed. All right, power fist. Battle underground. All right, doesn't look like there's anything particularly dangerous. Energy There's another power fist. Right, it sounds like there's another driller vehicle close by. Give you a power fist and an electro grip. Oh, you look ridiculous, but that's fine. Alright. There's no enemy over here, and I'm not gonna risk staying here. Just keeps setting up wreck on poles. And the enemy is luckily being relatively passive. I do wish my artillery would behave a bit more. Battle on surface. Moving. Could do with a few more artillery. Rally over here. Alright, now we have finally a vision. Let's take care of that turret. Now we should be able to swiftly pursue. Some aggressive moves. Enemy does have somewhat good ideas with building a uh, multiple multiple parts factories because if you queue up more than one parts, each each parts factory will take up part of the burden of the of building stuff. 
So it's not a total waste. But in the course of battle, I find I barely need to do that. But in any case, that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.